Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today I want to show you this silky smooth glass slash effect. So this is the basic effect, but I will be showing you some techniques for customizing it in different ways. So let's get going. Okay, for this project, I'm going with 3840 by 2160, frame rate of 25 frames a second, duration of 10 seconds. So first thing I'm gonna do is just grab my text that I've already made. I dropped it into my favorites where I can very easily retrieve it. So there you go. You can use whatever text you want, or you can even use an image or or whatever. And the other thing I want to do is very quickly just drop in a color solid behind into a new group there. And I'm going to make this sort of dark gray like that. So to create this effect, we're going to be using the membrane generator. So let's just drop that in. Generators membrane. And I want to put it in this group here with the text in it, but behind the text. And I'm just going to turn off the text for the time being while I talk this through. So the membrane is quite a confusing generator. Very pretty, but like what the hell is going on with it? So basically it's got eight control points, four for the start, four for the end. And each of those control points is oscillating in a sine wave. So we're going to try and simplify this all down. So first of all, I'm going to kill the speed. We're not going to be interested in that. I'm going to set this start one value to one. And then I'm going to go through. The next one is going to be one. The next one's going to be one as well. Start four is going to be negative one. So end one is going to be positive one. End two is going to be negative one. End three is going to be positive one. And four is going to be negative one. So now it's a much simpler shape. It's a little bit easier to understand and much easier to control. And you can see with the offset, we can just get that animation working, but we're not even going to be using that. I'm just going to set this offset to 0.125 because I know that's what I want. So this is going to be my basic shape. And what I'm actually going to do instead is I'm going to animate the start one value just so we can get much more sort of fine grained control over what this is doing. So first of all, I'm going to set it to zero and then I'm going to add a ramp behavior. I'll set the start value to something like two and the end value to 1.75. So now we've got a much more controlled version of the membrane. So the one thing we can't do with this is to scale it, because if we scale it, you can see the generator output is actually rasterized and we're getting all these jaggies. So we have to leave that at 100% and find a different way of scaling it. And that is going to be via the width and height. Now I actually want this to be square, so I'm going to go for 7,500 by 7,500. So if you're doing this project in sort of 1920, or you're absolutely crazy and you're doing it in 8K or whatever, you'll need to use different numbers for this. But uh, that's what I'm doing, given that we're in 4K. So now we get this and it's all very nice and smooth. So then I'm going to turn my text back on again. And to get the effect, we are going to switch to difference for the blend mode. And hopefully you can see we've already got that kind of glassy effect. What we need to do is come back to the membrane and set the brightness all the way up, or not all the way up, but let's go for 50. And then to this group here that's got the both of them in it, I'm going to add filters, color, and threshold. And there you go, looks pretty nice. If we wanted, we could add a little bit of color into here. So I maybe go with that. So that's the basic effect but there's more we can do with it. One very simple thing we could do is select the membrane and come to filters and stylize and just add a line screen, for example. And you can see that's given us this nice sort of textured effect, which is pretty good. Just gonna turn that off because let's look at creating a refraction. So to do that, we need to put this membrane into a group. So I'm just going to group it, right click group, and I'm gonna turn it to fixed resolution really important that we do that. And then I'm going to select my text. I'm going to come to filters, distortion, refraction, use this group with the membrane in it as the source. And let's just crank it all the way up just so we can get a very clear picture of this. You can see by getting that really nice refraction on the text. So that's pretty cool. But what else can we do? We can select this group and we can add a stylized and 
indent. And you can see immediately that's created a more textured look. We could really exaggerate it by turning the softness all the way up. Maybe increase the brightness a bit, reduce the ambient, increase the highlight brightness, perhaps reduce the highlight sharpness, something like that. We even increase the depth. So we're really kind of going crazy with it. And we got this sort of really slick, oily look. I'm not sure that I particularly like that, but I just did want to show you it. And I wanted to show you it because if we add in below that indent filter, a distortion insect eye and turn that size up to 256, we're getting a really crazy effect. Probably want to just knock that mix value down to about 40 or something. But with, with that indent and with the refraction, that's pretty wild. And we could use just use the insect eye without the indent. So let's have a look at that. That's kind of nice as well. But I think overall, I probably prefer just this basic look with the refraction. So anyway, up to you what you do. Hope that's been an interesting one. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.